Hello guys and welcome to another pixelforlife.com tutorial. Valentine's is approaching and I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you guys how to create a 2D vector heart along with some text to go along with it. So to start, simply create a document 500 by 500 pixels. Once you've done this, go ahead and find the color you want for your heart. Now you can start with a darker red like I am or you can use a lighter one. It's totally up to you. Once you've found it, it's time to go to the custom shape tool. Now the custom shape tool should have a heart somewhere in there. If it doesn't, you can make one quite easily. But as you can see here, by stock, mine comes with it. And I'm pretty confident that everybody's will. Now as you can see, this is actually a good, good uh, problem to show you. This came up and it's gray. And that's because I need to change my image mode from grayscale to RGB. And then I can drag out the heart. Now that I have my heart, it's time to start creating some shadows on it. It's really simple to do. Simply select it. Now that we've got the heart selected out, all we need to do is go to select, modify, and contract. And let's just do it by 15 pixels for now. And as you see, our selection stays, but it, it contracts down into the actual heart shape. We'll create a new layer, and we can simply grab our white uh, color and... Uh, Reset. Oh, let me reset my brushes here, and I can just grab a nice big brush here, about like so, and I can uh, just uh, put a nice little feather on it like that, and then I can uh, take this layer and I uh, try the different blend modes, see if there's anything in there that I like which I'm not really seeing anything I do so we'll just go ahead and do the opacity on this we'll just bring that down to about 34 ish maybe a little bit less something about maybe about like that and then I'm just going to use the eraser tool bump that up no hardness and I'm just going to erase inside like so now we're, we're going to just get rid of that layer for now and we'll come back to that on this other shape layer here, we want to go ahead and use an inner shadow. We're going to make sure the distance is at zero. In size, we're going to bump that up quite a bit. Maybe add some choke to that. Then we're going to stroke it with black because that really adds a nice little effect to it. And you can do a nice thick one if you'd like. And we can play with the satin on the inside of the heart if we want. But I just like it by itself, so I'm just going to leave it. And let's go ahead and put this layer back up. A little bit more, maybe about like so. And then I'm going to just uh, get rid of it on the one side. And so it's not quite as, as noticeable. And I'm going to try and just feather this a little bit. Because I just want the reflection part. I don't really want a hard edge on it. Which is kind of like that. And then we can use our our brush, our white brush on a new layer to just put one little spot like that and then we can bring that opacity down and you see here our heart is starting to take a nice vector shape and color and tone it just really looks good and a lot of that has to do with this layer here because you can see it has like kind of a, here let me get my other tool you can see here it has a harder edge down in here and down here which kind of gives it that popping effect and if I get rid of that layer that's gone still looks good but that just really adds that extra little flavor to it that we need and in my opinion this heart is done there's other things you could do um, you know if there's something specific that you had in mind but I like the way this heart's looking so I'm gonna create a folder and call it heart and I'm just gonna drag these into there like so and this way I can just move the whole heart around or whatever I want to do now uh, I'm just gonna put happy Valentine's can I spell that right and let's make that let's just pick a nice color from in here we're gonna bring this down in size and then we're going to give this a nice arc and we're going to need to scale this down a little bit more something like that 
And one thing I want to do is this Happy Valentine's, I want to take it and I'm going to add a nice blue color to the one side of it. Something about like that. And you'll see why here in a little in a second. Now, this might not look perfect because um, I'm just going from memory here for what I did before. And let's actually fatten this heart up a little bit. I think that looks a little bit better. All right, but what we can do is we can take our elliptic or our uh, 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 polygon lasso tool, and we can just kind of go down through the heart like so with our selection, and we're going to create a new layer right above the background layer, like so. 